my name is Alan Detloff, and I'm the Dean of the Graduate College of Social Work. I'm excited that you're here and joining us today. I'm going to give a brief presentation about uh, the social work profession, who we are, what we do, and what we value, and how that relates to our mission here at the Graduate College of Social Work. This presentation will give a brief overview of the social work profession, who we are, what we do, and what we value, and how that relates to the mission of our college. To start, I wanted to begin with a couple definitions of social work. Um, so I have two to show you here. This first one says, social work is the professional activity of helping individuals, groups, or communities enhance or restore their capacity for social functioning and creating societal conditions favorable to this goal. That definition comes from our professional association, the National Association of Social Workers. This next, this next definition comes from the Social Work Dictionary, and it says that social work is an applied science of helping people achieve an effective level of psychological functioning and affecting societal changes to enhance the well-being of all people. What I think is really important about both of these definitions is you could see that there's a micro level aspect to social work and also a larger macro level aspect of social work. At the micro level, um, all social workers are engaged in the process of helping individuals, families, or communities achieve enhanced levels of well-being or enhanced levels of functioning. But social workers as a profession are also concerned about bringing about larger societal changes to address the issues that people need to see social workers for in the first place. So social workers advocate for social justice and advocate for social change to bring about a better society that individuals and families and communities live in and work in and function in. So social work is about more than just helping an individual, a family, or a community it's about advocating and advancing um, social justice and real social change. And social workers do that because of our values. Social work is a profession that's based on values and that distinguishes us from many other professions. And in social work, we have six values that define who we are and what we do. Um, the first value is service. Um, this value talks about social workers elevating service to others above their own self-interest. Social workers help people in need and we address social problems. And social workers volunteer some portion of their professional skills with no expectation of financial return. So in addition to our primary jobs as social workers, we are also engaged in volunteer work to address the issues that we're passionate about and to bring about societal change. Social workers also value dignity and worth. We value every person and treat them with respect, no matter their differences. Social workers value the importance of relationships. We understand that having relationships helps. As social workers, we try to strengthen relationships among people to promote, restore, maintain, and enhance the well-being of the people and the communities that we work with. Social workers also value integrity. Every relationship that social workers have is based on trust. And every day we're aware of our core values and the ethical principles that we abide by. And throughout your time in the Graduate College of Social Work, social work you'll be learning more about the ethical principles that all social workers adhere to. Social workers value competence. That's part of why you're receiving your education from the Graduate College of Social Work. We practice within our abilities and we strive to develop and gain knowledge and skills that we can apply in practice. And those are the knowledge and skills that you'll be, you'll be learning in your time here. And lastly, in what I think is the most important value that social workers have is our value for social justice. Social workers challenge injustice in the world, particularly on behalf of vulnerable and oppressed individuals and groups. And the reason that we value social justice and we strive to achieve social justice is because we live in a society where there is not justice. As an example, women today earn 79 cents for every dollar earned by men. And although women hold 52% of all professional level jobs, they are only 14% of executive office holders, 8% of top earners, and less than 5% of Fortune 500 CEOs. We also live in a society where women's constitutional rights to make decisions about their health and their bodies are continually being threatened. 
Last year alone, 396 pieces of legislation in 46 states sought to restrict women's constitutional right to abortion services, and 57 of those became law. As social workers, we believe that women must have access to family planning, abortion, and other reproductive health services because of our values of social justice and self-determination. We also live in a society where members of the LGBT community can be legally discriminated against. In 32 states, including Texas, people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender can be fired from their place of employment solely because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. And in certain states and cities across the country, there are increasing efforts to prevent people who are transgender from being able to use the restroom without fear of being jailed or fined for doing so. For people of color, we've seen increasing efforts to restrict their rights to vote. Two years ago, the Supreme Court overturned portions of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 in a way that allows for measures designed to disproportionately impact African American and Latino citizens and restrict their right to vote. Today we live in a time where voter ID laws, redistricting, and mass incarceration by a criminal justice system that disproportionately targets Black and Latino citizens all result in the suppression of their vote. We also live in a society where people of color, particularly those who are African American, have to be increasingly concerned about safety in their own communities due to fear of violence by members of law enforcement that have sworn to protect them. Although we know that the large majority of law enforcement officers join law enforcement to protect communities and risk their own safety to keep their communities safe, we have all seen images of unarmed black men shot in the back, gunned down, and choked to death by law enforcement with little accountability. These are the issues of justice that social workers care about, and these are the issues that motivate the work we do. Here you'll see that our mission in the Graduate College of Social Work is to prepare diverse leaders in practice and research to address complex challenges and achieve sustainable social, racial, economic, and political justice locally and globally through exceptional education, innovative research, and meaningful community engagement. So I hope that during your time in the Graduate College of Social Work, while you are learning your social work skills and becoming competent and ethical social work practitioners that work with individuals, families, or communities, I hope you'll also think about what you can do to contribute to our mission to achieve social, racial, economic, and political justice. Our vision in the Graduate College of Social Work is for justice to be a reality, not just something we aspire to. And I hope that each of you will join us to be part of that reality. Thank you.